Hello, I warmly welcome you, Dominic Laskowski. I am a co-founder of the Agency of Automation and Artificial Intelligence. In this video, we will focus heavily on dedicated solutions for process automation that occur in every company. This film is very much needed because there is a lot of hype around artificial intelligence. And unfortunately, entrepreneurs are getting confused about the possibilities. I keep saying it is a very simple technology. It will not run the business for you. It will not earn money for you in the way we think. So, artificial intelligence does not have an impact on revenue. It will not increase your revenue. In certain extreme situations, yes, that conversion, that million dollar framework I showed, yes, but it is a very niche environment of companies that do ads, have large budgets, and have well-established sales processes. Remember, it's like standing behind increasing revenues, and this is a very niche product. What will show you what is like the mainstream of artificial intelligence is that it saves time. And the fact that it saves time means that your financial result increases from the bottom line, ultimately. It is not revenue, but by reducing the time spent on repetitive tasks that your net profit increases. This is how you should view artificial intelligence. And so here we present it to you from a marketing perspective because everyone forgets what this artificial intelligence does. It saves time and listen, it saves time in every business. I will briefly share my story with those who do not know me. This is already my fourth company that I am establishing. One of them was listed by the Financial Times as the fastest growing company in Europe in professional services for business. We were in seventh place, and I say this not to brag, but because the result of our actions in automation is business. There is a typical focus on business and the value of net profit. And this is what I will show you now and how we save time in these areas here. As you know well from our website, I will now downsize myself. On our website, there are the main areas, sales, customer service, HR, and back office. And here, I will show you a strong case study from each of them. I will briefly discuss some of them. And for some, I will direct you to further videos if you are interested in diving deeper. All right, let's first dive into sales. As you have seen, this million dollar framework scales nicely and really saves time for your sales department. But here, let's focus on a repetitive task that occurs in every company. What does sales look like? Well, we have this person, this prospect, who let's say is interested in our services. I just added this cool automation here, and in Europe, things are happening very modestly, but I really like the market in the United States, especially in B2B. There they immediately ask if you have money to collaborate with me, and now here. This credit check in Europe can be done very nicely. In the United States, it seems that financial data of companies is hidden, while in the United Kingdom and Europe it is public for limited liability companies. Of course, so we connect directly to company scouts or endo. I will show you in a moment we connect via API and now we are retrieving this credit check and we already know who we are talking to, right? I always jokingly say, show me your income statement and I'll tell you who you are. And this holds true in business. We need a few pieces of information. When was the company founded and what is its actual turnover? What are its revenues? That is what interests us the most. And now we automatically retrieve this data as the prospect enters their VAT registration number and the information I wanted, such as company registration date and revenue, is automatically retrieved. And that is, it's like, you know, a gimmick, but it also really speeds up sales and we pre-qualify a lot of these 
prospects, which we reject right away after revenue. So, this is a side gimmick that I wanted to show you, but what happens next? We send an offer to this client, and I am now showing you the scheme of a regular company, right? We send the offer by email, wait for someone to accept it. Once it is accepted, we send the contract. Print, sign, scan. Please, do not print any more papers. I will tell you why in a moment. Okay, then someone will do the same action in their company. Send us that scan. So what? We send them the invoice. The accounting department issues an invoice and either sends it or gives it to the salesperson who then sends it. So now I will show you the process as it looks in our case. We have completely automated this, but of course you don't have to do it the way we do because every business is different. So what do we do? So having this data, as you can see these custom values and variables here, we can freely define them for your business. I always say this. Once I have entered the data, it should automatically populate on every subsequent document, all the way to back office automation, until we reach the very process itself through customer service, all the way to back office. And I will show you that right away. So our offer is actually electronic and we immediately integrate it into the offer. We have a payment gateway connected to the ERP for invoicing via API, and we are dealing with three countries, so it's not that easy. If you want customers to pay through the payment gateway and receive invoices there, that can also be done. But here, I am showing you the Daga prospect that we have here, so we can, you can edit this offer freely. And as you can see, there are these custom fields, which are what we want to be included in this offer, whether it's a VAT number or anything else, everything will be added here automatically. The offer is a link. And now the client receives such a link from us. And what does he do? It automatically accepts the payment and provides its details for the invoice and automatically receives the invoice. In our case, the entire process is automated, so you can obviously skip this payment gateway and do it your own way, and I will show you how to do it shortly. So, now, let's assume that we want to automate this offer in the same way, but then you have a contract, right? Because we don't have a contract, we have regulations. You have a contract, what then? We don't print any contracts. How does it happen in a normal company? Oh, great. Now I'll make the contract, we go into Word, enter the same data and the same numbers as in the offer, send it, oh, print it, go to the president, sign it, and why do I say not to print any documents? Most of our clients are from the legal industry. That's where we started. Listen, this is, you know, a condition of the previous century that someone has to print something and sign it. In the evidence material, listen, because it all comes down to one thing. What if someone says that I didn't sign this right? Well, first of all, when he sends it to you, he might as well say it, even though he signed it. But if you have a history of some email communication, an offer sent, and, I don't know, some invoice paid first in court, it's not to. This means it's a guaranteed loss from the start. So when it comes to the security of any electronic agreements here, it's 100%, you know, and the time savings are enormous. So if you have an invoice, also, if you have a contract, we also want uh, that contract to automate, right? So we will make such an agreement once. We can upload your PDF and only change those variables. This is done very simply with a drag and drop module. I am showing the text here. Here are also the variables I mentioned. Here are the payment links. I don't want to complicate things too much for you, but the dates that are automatically loaded are not there. What is today's date? Only here. Is it known when you make this agreement? I'm doing everything so quickly now. You know, it may look very silly, but this 
is how our clients use this system and move on to the invoicing stage. And here, just like that, when we track when someone opened the email, when someone read the invoice, when someone clicked, excuse me, the contract, then we have all the knowledge and we don't have to, you know, it often happens that we wait until the client, I don't know, then we call, did you receive the contract? It's clear that we want them to sign it as soon as possible. Here we can do it without that and it happens automatically. So this is full automation. In summary, don't print anything. When it comes to customer service, as you know, this language model has a significant impact on communication. With the customer, we will skip that for now. We will delve into a strong case study of a marketing agency that serves a large retail. He has tens of thousands of receipts and needs to check if Coca-Cola is on them. And now listen, here's the link to the video that shows. The recording made by our CTO will be here in the video description. In the video description, it is already more technical. Here is a brief overview. What is the problem? The problem is that people buy receipts and want to give them to Coca-Cola to participate in the contest. And now they have to upload a photo of that receipt and someone has to check if Coca-Cola is on that receipt. And now a receipt comes in, AI verifies it, and automation outputs it to Google Sheets. You will see this in a separate video. I will also show you that we have created such a calculator on our website. You can calculate the time savings multiplied by the minimum wage. It is known that there are no employees on the minimum wage, but here are the 2025 data regarding the minimum wage. So this company had 10,000 of these receipts per month. Let's assume that reading each one takes five minutes. Look at the powerful savings when it comes to such automations. And that's how you have to calculate it. Uh, the effects of scale simply. I don't know what to say here, but the numbers are very powerful. And in larger companies, this savings, you know, is this is a large company. So there is quite a bit, right? Let's hire someone now to check the receipts manually. I always say this from the employee side who wants to spend a week looking at receipts and marking in Excel whether there is Coca-Cola for an employer who wants to pay for it, okay? So this is the case study. Take a detailed look at the video in the description. It was recorded by our CTO, Casper. So I encourage you to watch the video, the HR department here. I really won't say anything at all. I refer you to the video, which is also in the description. This is a lecture that I gave in June of this year at MDX University. This is everything you can see with this technology. I will briefly say that the first stage of recruitment has nothing to do with recruitment. And I can say this because my company, Weekend.UHR, has just secured a place in those rankings. We have recruited over a thousand people in these eight years. The first stage of recruitment is not recruitment. It has nothing to do with recruitment. It is pure sales. We ask the same questions and the candidate does too. So this can be completely automated. Onboarding, you know, personnel, personal files. Listen, do you know how many documents that is? It's the same here. Using the same method where we digitize these variables and documents, which significantly speeds up the time and saves costs in onboarding. So I will now jump to the last point as I see that it has already been 15 minutes and I know that you do not have time. The strongest area that can be automated to save money. In every company, we create these solutions from scratch, tailored to specific needs. These are different solutions, but now I will show you accounting. Here, we had income documents, and now we have expense documents, which are delivered to finance in various ways. Electronic documents are sent by email, which is great, but there are also photos, 
scans, and paper documents. So what have we done now? We set up a special email, invoiceacompany.com, and here we connected artificial intelligence to this email, which automatically sorts these emails and identifies which ones are invoices. Then it spits out the information that we need to upload, which the accounting department requires, such as amounts, net, gross, if we are in Europe, dates, the name of the contractor, all of that is included. And now, after that, there is no artificial intelligence, it's all about automation. And now there are two things. If we have our own accounting, then we want to input everything into the ERP program. And if we have outsourced this service, we want to send it to the accounting office via email. So, all of this happens automatically. Listen, it's a huge time saver in this process. You know how many documents there are. It also counts in the thousands. It's very important to automate these processes. Listen, I won't prolong this. This film is also separate, so I encourage you to watch it. It was also recorded by Katzper. It shows how our client, a company from London, is utilizing this in their financial department. Listen, I encourage you to automate your businesses and save time because time is money. I invite you to contact our sales department with experts who will prepare a roadmap for you, a complete plan, and conduct an audit. All of this is included in the price. What's important now is that this technology is undergoing a significant transformation. Listen, we are an IT company, but we work with no-code technology and primarily low-code. What does this provide? This means that these solutions are several times cheaper than those offered by IT companies through coding. So be very careful when choosing the company that you want to work with. It's just a piece of advice. Of course, I encourage you. Thank you for your attention. Best regards.